Pakistan has completely rejected and strongly condemned the unwarranted and totally unacceptable comments made by the Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh at a recent event in occupied Jammu. At the event, the Indian Minister said that Kashmir is and shall always remain an integral part of India. Responding to the statement, Foreign Office Pakistan spokesperson Asim Iftikhar Ahmed said the Indian minister in his remarks distorted the well-established historical facts about the occupied Jammu and Kashmir dispute, leveled baseless allegations and hurled threats against Pakistan. The Foreign Office asked India to introspect as to why, despite strict restrictions, New Delhi has not been able to deter Kashmiris from their aim of achieving freedom. Indian troops and paramilitary forces occupying Kashmir have turned the heaven-like valley into a living hell and broken all records of committing brutalities and excesses on the Kashmiri people. The Kashmiri people have a miserable existence in the world's heaviest militarized zone. Over 700,000 Indian soldiers are stationed in the valley. Thus, there is one soldier deployed for every 10 Kashmiri citizens. There are more than 6,000 unmarked mass graves of the people killed in custody or those who were picked up for interrogation and have since been missing. The inhuman Indian actions have made more than 80,000 Kashmiri children orphans and women are molested daily. Aren't all these facts enough for the United Nations and the world to take notice and stop India's fascist Bharatiya Janata Party genocide in a land that yearns to be free?